Hun Sen was a former Khmer Rouge commander. He had a lot of battlefield experience when he was a young man. He has very sharp elbows politically. He pushed out other people in the leadership of the new Cambodian People's Party and became prime minister in 1985, and he has been prime minister ever since. So Hun Sen has held the title of prime minister for 38 years in Cambodia. A survivor, certainly, and somebody who has created what can legitimately be said is, is economic activity in Cambodia or, or allowed economic activity that is uh, impressive by the numbers. Uh, but at the same time, you know, Cambodia has also been a champion in corruption. He is a foul mouth, vulgar, bad tempered leader. He just displays this in public all the time. He curses, he gets angry, and he has killed hundreds, if not thousands of political opponents over the years. He has used violence and intimidation, corruption and control of the courts to systematically sideline political opponents and independent media, civil society, to the point that Cambodia now is right back where it started in the 1980s. It's a one party state controlled by a single party. Obviously it's been ruthless and it's been, um, uh, really anti-democratic uh, in, in so many ways and abusive of human rights. When he first suggested that his son, Hun Manet, um, would succeed him, there was huge opposition in the party and it seemed actually like it wasn't going to be possible, but he systematically sidelined people who got in his way and he has now appointed his son as the next prime minister, but he, he said that he will still control, this is a quote, I will still control politics. Well, I think it's all in the understanding that post Hun Sen does not mean without Hun Sen at all. It means with Hun Sen as co-pilot, controlling the cards behind the scenes, but not in the prime ministerial position. There is not any indication to suggest that we have um, a new phase of Cambodian politics happening. It is probably not a recipe for stability because Hun Manet doesn't have his own political power base. He's not a street fighter like his father. Hun Sen has survived by brutality. And let's hope that Luminette doesn't display this kind of brutality.